The North. I don't know about the really. Yeah, is it Barclays? Like Barclays, Barclays oh, yes. Oh, heck yeah. Back here with Kustoff, we're Back going stage, viral. The nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> On Tuesday, LeBron drilled the 35 footer from the logo, which suddenly seems to be part of the guy's repertoire. The king took to the gram yesterday to wax a little poetic. Me. I bet you won't. Me. Man, who are you talking to? Me. I'm talking to you. Oh. I bet you won't. Me. Man, you must not know me well. And a bunch of hashtags, including Washed King, which I sat on this you program said yesterday. yesterday. Like, LeBron's said, over the hashtag. LeBron is over it. He's right. not going to wash King himself. America, I'm going to do something I very rarely do right now. Go. I'm going to criticize LeBron James. And it's going to be a fair criticism. He's not great at social media. <gasps> he's not great at the captions. Live, laugh, love. What are no, you talking about? You know why I think no, he's, he's great? great. He's, he's a great at it. Fair. Hold on. It's, to me, it's so genuine. What, why? It, What's it's in your life? It's just the, I just I the think he's great at monologue, it. the captions. I just, I don't think he's great at social media. I don't think he's great. Oh. We do know he's I the like one social posting. Media. He doesn't have a social media manager. It's actually LeBron thumbing out those tweets. Do you like when he previews songs? Not really. Oh, I like that. When his kids do the TikTok. I love it because I think he gets a kick out of it. I think it's one of those things where, like, you're talking to your best friend. You like, can't okay. be great at everything. Okay, that's fair. It's time now for stories to start your morning, sponsored by Ram Trucks, built to serve our number three story of the day. According to reports, Tom Brady, Bill Belichick hopped on the phone this week, and while some are saying the phone call, quote, didn't go well, others are reporting that the discussion was business as usual. Nick, good news or bad news? I think it's slightly bad news in this regard. Every day that ticks forward, without a deal being done is bad news for the Patriots retaining Tom Brady, if that's the prism we're looking at it. If he is not signed before the start of free agency, which is not when? March 18th, March 4 18th. p.m. Eastern, then he's not coming back. They're not going to take a $14 million dead cap hit only to give him a new deal. So, so they have I'm to get this. Anymore. You're not worried. You're All not. right, Tom, Bill Belichick, would you like to win another Super Bowl? No? Okay. Have fun <laughs> in Tennessee. <See> ya. <laughs> yes? Okay. Good luck See with you at OTA. It's amazing to me how many Brady fans are abandoning him for Belichick. It's really bad. Really, oh, oh. Our number two story, talking Niners now. A recent report says that head coach Kyle Shanahan, quote, has some reservations about Garoppolo's ceiling and overall decision making. Nick, this surprise you at all? No. The, I mean, he has to. He, he's a smart guy. He watches football. And anyone who watches football has, has these same reservations about Jimmy G. But this is the most noteworthy part of the Tom Curran report yesterday. Is that... Because the only way Brady ends up a Niner is if these reservations are massive. Is if he is if he's terrified. If he looks at the Super Bowl, he says, "Geez, man, I got you a ten point lead. I asked you to I asked you to make two passes. They got batted down. After you blew the lead, defense, he can't oh, stop the, he, he, the he greatest player in NFL history. Batted Street, down, and then Kyle Shannon saying, "I schemed a guy wide open for a game winning touchdown pass, and you sailed it over his head for six yards. I'm done with you." He got to the Super Bowl. The he played in the I'm Super at, Bowl. Jenna. That's where I'm at. Although I'd like to see that trade. Yeah. I'm in for that. I know. Our top story here, the first matchup between Luka and Zion last night. The Mavericks defense able to contain Zion, holding the rookie to 21 points and six rebounds. That's actually an accomplishment. Luka, on the other hand, could not be slowed down. Nick's adult Slovenian son yep. put up 30, 17, and 10 for the guy's 22nd career triple-double. Kristaps Porzingis, who's been playing great lately, added 34, 12, and five blocks. Mavs get the overtime win. Nick, the Mavs a dangerous first round team if both Luka and Kristaps are playing the way they've been playing? Yeah. Yeah, number one offense in all of basketball, and that's with Chris Stapps having a tough start to the season. That's with Luka missing time. Sarah, you and I have talked about this off the air. This is a fun team. Don't play a ton of D, but man, they can score with anybody. And Chris Stapps, since January 31st, so we're now talking about the entire month of February, a little bit of March, last day of January. How's 28 and 11 on 50% from the field, 39% from three? Pretty damn good. And I do wonder when we're talking about the, you know, the best duos in basketball, to me, Sarah, there's a very clear cut top four. Now, your guys, KD and Kyrie, will insert themselves very shortly right into that list. But with Kyrie out and KD injured, we know the top four are where you can argue about the order. I, LeBron, Anthony Davis would be one. I think Giannis and Middleton are two out of the strength of Giannis. Harden and Russ are three, and Kawhi and Paul George are four. Some people would re reorganize that top four. Those are your top four. Could Luka and Chris Stapps be fifth? Embiid and Simmons played themselves out of it. They're At out. least they the, were there, and then they were there, and they played themselves out of it. I, and my friends in Denver say, "Why don't you give Jokic and Murray enough credit?" I included them. That's enough. Dame and CJ probably ain't gonna make the playoffs. 
Tatum's played well enough that they got on the list. Is it Luke and Chris Tatum? Yeah. Superstar Tatum, though. Uh, is but it Luke and Chris yes, Because think about how oh. well they play together. You're I on, mean, yes. I, they're already there to you. I, to me, they are in, in, have a ton of respect for all those other duos. But yes, and think about the size, the length. Obviously, Porzingis coming back from that injury, you knew it would take him a little bit of time. That's understandable. Now we're starting to see that progression. You mentioned Dallas not playing defense, but Porzingis does. And he's been impressive on that end of the floor. But I just think the dynamic and the chemistry between those two, I mean, Doncic is so tough to stop anyway in the pick and roll and with the ball in his hands, let alone when you got a guy like Porzingis that can stretch you out, he can get to the basket. I, I just think their chemistry will continue to build, and I have so much confidence in Rick Carlisle oh, and how he continues to piece. put them in the best position possible and also just the roster around them. Do you think um, Porzingis has another level to go to? Yeah, I do. I do. Because I, I think that for Porzingis, in the Knicks organization, what he was doing early on, him coming to the States and to the NBA in his career, he was still trying to find his way, gets injured. It, it, what he's been through early on, I don't even think we've seen him start to reach the, really? the ceiling of what he can Ooh. be. And I think that, and I think it's, it's I think all about him staying healthy. Month. But I think, yes. I think this past, these past 35 days, when he's giving you 28 and 11 on good shooting, good defense, I think you're starting and to see he, it this month. He doesn't have to be the guy. I mean, the fact that he can be but a sidekick with you think that's his destiny to be like a number two? Absolutely. You I do. do. I, yeah, I, I don't think he's a, I don't think he's a superstar number one. I think he can be a, a perfectly well-qualified number two. But the reason this is so interesting, before we get to Zion, just quickly, Jenna, this is why the regular season, I don't care what the folks tell you, matters. The one seed in the West, you're going to get a walkover. You the two, you might face these guys. Right now, the two seed gets this team, the number one offense in basketball, super, soon to be superstar Luka Doncic, soon to be star Chris Stapps Porzingis. That's who you get round one of the playoffs right now if you're the two seed. So don't tell me, oh, just coast. Okay, coast. And then deal with these guys for two weeks in late, what was the month be? Late April. It ain't gonna be fun. All right, so Luca played Zion last night, so we're gonna turn our focus to Zion. The Pelicans rookie played his first career back to back. Many wondered if that was a good idea. Zion thought it was a great idea. Take a listen. Physically, I'm feeling fine right now. I think it was just one of those things where, you know, Drew, Lonzo, she kind of came to me and was like, are you, you ready to play? Because um, if you saw me in the second quarter, I think, you know, I just kind of turned around and looked at Lonzo like, all right, like, I'm awake now. Because, you know, they just came to me and said, like, you know, it's time for you to wake up. How do you think Zion held up uh, conditioning-wise? I think he's fine. We worry about him too freaking much, okay? He's fine. <laughs> he's 19 years old. He'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> he's right, oh, right? Gentry's right about Zion. Of course he's right. Sarah, you remember, I don't know, nine months ago, ten months ago, we went to see my son's old AAU team yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Adidas Gauntlet, the uh, Houston team that was playing in the same Adidas Gauntlet Zion South Carolina Supreme played in. Basketball University was the team we went and watched. Yeah. Those kids play three games in 20 hours. They play two games a day minimum. Sometimes in a, in a tournament, they might play five games from a Thursday to Sunday. Zion was doing that a year and a half ago. The idea that Zion at 19, it's like, ah, he, he, he can't play back to back nights. The competition's nights. a little different. Yeah, but the, the wear and tear on his body's about the same. That are it's, we're not worried about people leaning on Zion. We're worried about Zion jumping and landing and jumping and landing. That's the same whether you're doing it in a small gym off the piers in New York City like we saw or in, in New, at the, what's it called, the Smoothie Center? The Smoothie King Smoothie Center? King. Smoothie Sorry, King. my apologies. Okay. Like, this is, the, <laughs> of course, Zion should be playing. And of course, to me, we should not be worried about a 19-year-old needing to load man. And it's not worry. If you watched all those highlights and you watched last night, he to credit to Dallas's defense, their collective length, Maxi Kleba was bodying up, doing an excellent job him all night, and then he has Porzingis sliding over to help. That was some of his trouble last night when he was playing. And, and we've seen this with Zion when he's up against a player, whether it's the Lakers and you got Anthony Davis and, and a big man in Dwight Howard or with the Bucks team. Sometimes if he's not playing against a guy that he could just beat with his own quickness and agility and he's got a second big man coming over to help, it causes him a little bit of trouble, which is normal. He has been tremendous. And, and it's a part of it. We see a lot of fatigue in players in the second night of a back-to-back. -back. I don't think it's anything that should raise red flags about it, Zion in particular. But but Zion had a particular 
look to him that was like, I'm exhausted. Which happened, but that's- But, but uh, that's why people were asking Gentry, and well, Gentry asked like it was an exhausted. outrageous question. So here, he, he gets blocked, he falls down, here comes Luca doing Luca's thing. Whoop. And layup, now let's hit, cut to Zion. Zion, how are you feeling? So it it Zion's not even- He's like, oh, here I am. Like, you're allowed to question the coach after seeing this video. Be like, hey, he he's looked tired. a little tired. He's tired. Like, ah, oh, he's 19. Like, okay, I, think, I just watched it. I like, think don't yell to at Alvin me. Gentry, who I love and who I know well as credit, I think he just, he's inundated with Zion questions. Every pregame, every postgame has been since since the draft, since before the draft. So I'm sure for him, he's like, all right, and enough already. Gets tired. I don't yeah. like this. Is you don't? You've never missed a. The, the, I've never work. missed a show. Don't Neither think I'm not exhausted. Least, if we play him 38 yeah. nights. I mean, a, everyone got gets a radio tired. show. <laughs> and by the way, I will say I love where we're at with Zion. We, you're, you're totally right. He struggled a bit last night. They had length to, to give him some trouble. So that means he was held to an inefficient 50% from exactly. the field. But a bad he, game for him. Three times, I think, so far this year, he shot 50%. Right. Or right around. Or low. He that sat low. out the first couple of minutes of overtime, didn't he? First two or three but, minutes? Yeah, okay. So he, Why? Again, because maybe he, maybe he is not in perfect conditioning yet. But it's not, it has nothing to do with the idea that you can't play him 30 plus minutes a night for the, for 75 to 80 games a year for the next 15 years. That's what I, that's what I'm anticipating for Zion Williamson. All right, time to figure out how to set your DVR. Steph Curry set to return to the Warriors lineup against the Raptors tonight. He missed 58 games with a broken left hand. Nick, how many points for Steph tonight? Well, you know, I would have said around 30, but they're, they're, What's He's the on minute a minute restriction. restriction. Do we know what, do we know what it is? 25, 25 minutes. minutes. With a hand points. injury? At hand. <laughs> With a hand injury, a minute's restriction? Hand. I don't what? understand. Listen, I don't understand. On the other hand. I don't. Are they trying to win games, Sarah? On to tonight's marquee matchup. All right, Clippers and Rockets. I'm looking forward to this. Bad